<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my rigged animation channel. My name is Libra and I'm glad you're enjoying what I'm doing. In part 1 I drew the messy character, in part 2 I attached bones to this character and in this part 3 I will create a short animation with this character and also include a girl character that I created earlier. I selected both characters and drop them in Moho. Click OK. This girl, I will make her a bit shorter. That looks better. I saved this file and named it Animation. I will go to the FreePick website to find the necessary resources for this short animation. First, I will search for a gift box. Let the girl hold it in her hand and bring it to the boy. This red gift box looks good. I will download it. Next, I need a road, a sidewalk or whatever. Yay! I have found the right files. Let's see if the files below are better. Maybe, I will download it. This image looks brighter. I will re-download. Dot and I will choose it instead of the last one. Click on this gift box vector file to open it in Illustrator. I choose this red gift box. Press Ctrl X to cut this gift box. And open a new file with the size of 1920 by 1080. Then I paste the gift box on this new file. Dot and resize the gift box to be bigger than the specified artboard size. Then save this file as a PNG file. This is how I do it, so that when I put it in Moho, even if you zoom in, the gift box will not be pixelated. Then I open the next file, the background vector file. I formatted my artboard to have a standard size of 1920 by 1080. You see that the current background is smaller than the standard size. A background with this size is usually very fragile. That's why I'll make this background bigger than the standard size. To make sure the background doesn't get pixelated when you put it in Moho. I will draw an artboard frame around this background. Then I will export the image as a PNG file and select this checkbox so that when exporting the background file, it will be collapsed in the artboard frame I created. I've prepared everything needed for this short animation. Now, I will put them in Moho. I select them and drag them to Moho. The background will be placed at the bottom layer. Reduce the image file size to fit the character. This gift box will follow the character. Therefore, I will put this gift box into the character file. You can adjust the size so that it the character. I created a new bone. To attach this gift box to this new bone press the B key to select the hand bone to make the link available, then press A. Hold and drag the left mouse button to create bones. Remember not to turn off the affected area of this bone. If you turn off the affected area of this bone, the gift box will drop there and won't stick to the bone. Remember to bind this gift box to the newly created bone. Select the gift box layer and click on the bind layer tool. Then, click on the newly created bone. Select the object and press the M key to move the character to where you want it. To redirect the character, select the object, press the M key and click on this tool. Press the M key and hold down the left mouse button. Drag the character to move to the place you want. Then press Ctrl J to show your working camera view. Press 4 to move the camera. Select an object and press M to move the character. Let's start animating. The action will take place at frame 1. Please add keyframe in frame 1. 
Select the object, and press the T key to move the character's bones. The gift box covers the lower hand so I will drag it to the side, and rotate the smart bone of the hand to change the hand style to fit the character. Which hand to pick? Here it is. I will select it. Drag the gift box to the old position. It's too close to the character. I'll drag it out further, it looks better already. Place the right hand up to hold the gift box. Move the character's eye direction and choose a suitable mouth. This mouth looks a bit creepy. Because this is a character, I created in a horror channel before. So the mouth doesn't look very cute. Press 4 to move the camera and press 5 to zoom in or zoom out the camera. Press Ctrl J to turn off the camera selection. Press the T key to control the character's bones. Oh no, his shoe fell off his leg bone. I will bind it again. Even the foot fell off. I also bind it similar to the shoe. After completing the first step, Remember to press the Ctrl F key to automatically freeze keys so that when animating you will not afraid of losing keyframes. I will press Ctrl F in these frames to copy the active key I just created without moving the character's bones. In this frame, I'm going to reverse the position of the character's legs. This is how I create the frame for walking pose. This method is quite simple. It only includes 5 steps in which the last step is the first frame put in loop. Frame 1 and frame 24 are exactly the same. On frame 1 I will click on any bone of the behind leg for tracking. On the sixth frame I lift up the previously tracked leg bone and at the same time click on the main bone. Press the Z key and lift up the character. I'm still selecting the main bone and copying these new points of the main bone. Then pasted it on frame 18 to duplicate the action. Make the character to lift the body up evenly without limping. On frame 12 I press B again to select any leg bones behind for tracking. On frame number 18 I lift the previously tracked leg. Finally, hold the left mouse button down and select all the last frames. Right click and select cycle. In the absolute box, select number 2 and leave the first frame. This will make the frames not overlapping and cause stutter. Increase this frame rate, to increase the number of seconds in animation. When the character walks, dot you should add blinking eyes to the character, so it looks smoother. I'll keep the eyes closed on the frame, then open up later. If you want this blink animation to be repeated then cycle it. The end of the first blink animation is on frame 44, so to repeat this animation it will be one frame away, and it will be at frame 45. This mouth isn't very cute, so I'll pick another mouth. Okay, this mouth is nice. It looks better. I will delete the points behind it, because the point behind it is still the old mouth, so you need to delete it so it won't overlap another mouth. Press Ctrl J to open the camera selection. Press the M key to move the character. Press the number 4 key to move the camera down to the character's feet. Press the number 5 key to zoom in on the character's foot. I'll split the duration. The first 2 seconds I'll follow the character's footsteps.
The next two seconds I will move the camera above the character and the last two seconds I will stay there. Dot you may want to move the character, or move the background. In this case I choose to move the background as the best practice. That will be a lot easier. Remember to move points linearly like this. Will help your animation look smooth and not slow or fast. Press the number 4 key and the number 5 key and click on any empty area to save the key in the previous 2 seconds. Moving on 2 seconds later, press the number 4 key and the number key 5 click on any empty area to move the camera up and zoom out the camera a little bigger. Remember when moving the camera or any object, you should also move those 2 points linear. At the 6th second I continue to press the number 4 and the number 5 key to click on any empty area on the workspace to save the activity for 2 seconds what I just did is to move the camera following the character. On the next frame, depending on what you want to do. If you want to pan the camera over the character slowly, then spread the frame out. To pan the camera slowly or fastly it depends on the number of frames you want. The further apart the frames are the slower the animation, and conversely, the closer the frames, the faster. Press Ctrl F key to save the previous character's frame. To move the character and control the bones, you do the same as for the girl character. To move press the shortcut M and to control the character's bones press the shortcut key T. This make character. I don't have a lot of hand styles and options feel free to add more hand style to the character. That way you will have much more options. Adjust the eyes and choose the mouth style you like. Make the walking animation similarly to the girl character. Always remember that the first and last frames are exactly the same. Press the M key to move the background. Remember this linear 2 move points. I will also make blinking action for male characters. Keep the action closed for a few frames and then have the character open their eyes. Press key 4 and 5 to save previous active key, and in next key press key 4 and 5 to move the camera and zoom it closer to character's face. This action I do is redundant so I will delete it. In this scene feel free to adjust the animation, 
Put the camera further or closer and make the character's expression as you like. In this scene, I will make the character's expression both happy and a little surprised when I see the girl. This part, I copied the first frames, so that the character reverts to the old form, so that I do the new action faster. I adjusted the standing posture for the male character. The female character also adjusted the standing posture a bit. You already know the keyboard shortcuts, right? Shortcut M to move objects, shortcut T to control bones, number 4 to move camera and number 5 to zoom in or zoom out camera. When animating, you should run it back and forth on a small part of frame you create to test the speed and slowness and see if it looks good or not.
In this scene I don't want to see the girl's head. I'll pull the girl's head bone aside. The gift box inside the character I will hide. And I will import another gift box inside the character outside. So that when the character moves, the gift box will not be affected by the character. I'll add a little effect when this gift box falls and hits the ground. Please set the effect to match the point where the object just hit the ground. This gift box hits the ground and bounces and hits the ground twice. So I'll make this effect show twice.
will hide the girl character in this scene. Just use the boy character. Right click and choose quick settings. Turn off the box with the green check visible. The girl scene has reappeared. Go to quick settings and tick the visible box to show a green check mark. Pull the girl's head back to its original position. I will create a new bone and bind layer this ring to the new bone, similar to the girl's gift box.
To save the position of the layers I will put them all in a single group. Double click the left mouse button twice. Select depth sort. Check the box enable animated layer order. Apply and OK. In this position, I move the male character below the female character so that the gift box image will be above the male character. I adjusted the character's movement point a bit. But in this position I move the male character above the female character, so that the gift box is under the male character's hand. Watch this. On the timeline bar, two points have appeared to save the position when we move the character up and down. I will continue to animate the rest. Stay tuned. This effect has a border around it, so I used the crop tool shortcut C to cut the border around the effect.
My short animation is done. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Hello and see you in the next clips.